Well, developing tonight, Friends star Matthew Perry's death is now considered a crime. Five people, including two doctors, have been charged. Perry died of acute effects of ketamine and subsequent drowning last October. He was 54. Michelle Yoshida is following the developments for us. These defendants took advantage of Mr. Perry's addiction issues to enrich themselves. Five people, including two doctors, charged in connection with the death of famed actor Matthew Perry. They falsely prescribed, sold, or injected the ketamine that caused Matthew Perry's tragic death. The friend star was found face down in his hot tub in October of 2023. The death was ruled an accident with drowning and other medical issues contributing and ketamine as the primary cause, with the amount in Perry's blood in the range used for general anesthesia during surgery. Approved by the FDA as a short-acting anesthetic, ketamine has been used in recent years to treat depression, anxiety, and pain. Perry, who had been open about his decades-long struggles with drug addiction, had reportedly been undergoing ketamine infusion therapy. Investigators believe his addiction, quote, spiraled out of control in the fall of 2023. When clinic doctors refused to increase his dosage, he turned to unscrupulous doctors who saw Perry as a way to make quick money. Over two months, from September to October 2023, they distributed approximately 20 vials of ketamine to Mr. Perry in exchange for $55,000 in cash. Now, five people, including Perry's live-in assistant, are charged with distributing ketamine to him during the final weeks of his life. We are sending a clear message. If you are in the business of selling dangerous drugs, we will hold you accountable for the deaths that you cause. I'm Michael Yoshida reporting.